Hey there, it's Sean Bailey, Sales Funnel Nerd, and welcome to the next video in the series here where we talk about the three core funnels, and in this one we're going to be talking about sales funnels, just pure sales funnel. Uh, I know that when I talk about as far as sales funnels, it kind of encompasses everything, but this is pure, we're talking about this one here, just pure sales funnels. So what that covers is what I call a classic sales funnel. Uh, we've also got kind of a pure back-end funnel, uh, a webinar product that's been completed, and also a consulting funnel. Now these are ones that I've used and set up before, so we're going to kind of talk about some sample configurations for these as well. So let's jump right into it and the first one that we're going to talk about here is what I call kind of a classic sales funnel. So end to end here um, it kind of includes everything. We've got some lead generation on the front because we want to uh, collect some uh, names and email addresses so we can follow up with them and market to them in additional ways and about other things. Uh, after that we've got our VSL, some type of video sales letter where they have a chance to buy our product. Once they buy that, then that's where we include at least one type of upsell. Um, once you see upsells and actions and, and some of the numbers that I'll show you later on, uh, you'll definitely include all kinds of stuff. Uh, but there we have, again, some type of way to include an upsell uh, to maximize, increase our average customer value and increase our profit there. Uh, on the uh, next page that you see there, is the actual order page where we outline the product and you can see uh, there's a lot of elements at work on that page to get people to actually complete and go through with the order there and we'll break that down once we get into actual funnel building and whatnot but uh, you're gonna see you're gonna have a definite advantage over people if you follow these rules after that is our order confirmation page where we actually deliver our product and get people to consume and uh, access their product and use that to get them to go into other funnels as well now, so for a pure back-end funnel, essentially we've done all the lead generation, we have these people, so now we've all we have to do is construct out another sales funnel because we have another product that we want to sell them. Maybe we sold them initially something to do with building landing pages, so after that I would sell them something to do with uh, writing copy or creating offers or um, how to get testimonials, that type of thing. But for that, all we have to do is just send them an email, a series of emails directing them to, uh, we can have a, vid a video sales letter set up it could be just a long form sales letter with just nothing but words and no video and then again from there we've got another upsell in place and then we take them over to our order so we don't have to worry about anything with the lead generation in the front but we can set up these back-end funnels and we can have these in place so that once we bring someone in a lead who's come in exposed to that first offer whether or not they bought our system takes over and sends them to our next funnel which is a pure back-end funnel make sense awesome let's move on so the next is what's called a webinar product Right. So the great thing about webinars is that you can use it to sell your product in advance and you can go and put on your webinar. And if people buy, then you essentially just put on four more webinars and complete and deliver the substance of your course. You record those webinars, have everything transcribed, turn that into a product because it's sold. Uh, it's proven people have bought so then you can set it up so that it's automated and uh, just continue selling that product so you start off with a webinar but then from there you go and take it into either you know a back-end funnel or a classic sales funnel we're going to talk about webinars in the next video here so you'll see a little bit more about how webinars work but uh, one of the great things about them like i say is you know selling a product that isn't done you know the idea for a product kind of kind of selling an outline and uh, you can even there's ways to do it without creating anything there's where you can create like your initially your first week and have a drip fed out uh, but I'll show you more about that when we get into funnel building uh, but the great thing about it is you can use it uh, essentially create a product can that product and then sell it in the sales funnel on the back so the last one we'll talk about here is the consulting funnel. So with this one, I've kind of chopped it in half. The, it's actually just two pages. So on the left-hand side there, that's just one long page that they read through where I explain how we can get together and I'll give them, if they give me some information, I will give them an awesome funnel kind of blueprint outline for their business. On the second page, um, it just explains what the steps are and how we get together and hash this out. I tell them that it's you know it's free. I'm just going to give them some info. Um, the nice thing about this, if you do this right, is that people will see your expertise. And I'm going to say about seven or eight times out of ten, they will just go, "Okay, this is awesome. Like, how do we do this? How can you can you just build this for me, or can you just do this?" And it's uh, extremely easy if you do this uh, this way. And the great thing about this is that people chase you. You don't have to chase people, and they qualify themselves in advance. They show that they're interested in, in working with you or, you know, getting your expertise. Uh, so you're not going to have anyone waste your time with this. So really awesome funnel, really uh, easy way to do it. Uh, and I think you will dig it. So I hope that was awesome. 
we're going to go into some sample configurations. So just to kind of show you here as far as sales again. So here we see with this tripwire funnel, we've got our lead generation at the front. People just um, opt in to get a free case study uh, that they're going to see some information about. And then again, you can see we've got the stop everything and we've got the progress bar at the top to show them uh, that there's still more to come here. I kind of like using that one. Then it's just a video that sells them on a tripwire offer, a low priced offer, and then gets them in as far as becoming a customer. And just kind of uh, the great thing about uh, once you get someone to commit, it's eight times easier easier to sell someone who's already spent money with you, who's already become a customer. So it's really just about getting someone to say yes to that first initial low priced offer. And then if you've done it right, that product, they should be like, wow, this is awesome. I can't wait to see what else this person has for me. So we can see it's laid out again, uh, order page, and then uh, the order confirmation page where we deliver and use that to send people into other funnels. So here we see an affiliate funnel. And with this one, uh, this is great because if you're just starting out, you don't have a product, um, I'm gonna show you stuff and show you how to make product building really easy. But as far as just starting out, getting some action, getting some money in the door, this is one of the best funnels for me. This is actually what made me my first online dollar. Uh, I remember it, I got up one morning, it was, I think it was a Monday morning, went to bed Sunday night, had checked everything, you know, when you're working at this, you monitor your stats obsessively. So I went to bed, got up in the morning, hit refresh, and there was, yeah, there was an email in there, congratulations, uh, you made a sale, uh, it was from PayPal or whatever, and it was like, yeah, it was like 60 bucks. And I had, I think at that time I had a $10, it was like $10 a day for an ad running. So essentially, you know, like I had run an ad, money had come in as a result of that, and and, you know, it was profitable by far. So I was that kind of once I saw that kind of magic happen, once you get that kind of, you know, those types of things happen in your business, uh, it's awesome. And I think you'll you'll totally love it. But the the main the important thing is that with a funnel like this, after they opt in, you can have something on the next page where it's like, hey, if you want to learn more about this. Uh, just click this button and take them over to uh, a product that you're an affiliate for because that person's done all the hard work. They went through all of this. They built out a funnel. They've tested it out. They've, you know, their copy is good. They know it converts. And if the sale goes through just by referring this person, you get half of the money, right? They, they want the person, they want the sale, and they're more than happy to split it with you if you send them the traffic. So you get the lead, you get some money, and you don't have to do any work. Affiliate funnels uh, absolutely rock if you're just starting out. So... So the next one we're going to talk about here is the supplement funnel. So this one is straight to the sale. When they get to this page here, you're, they're offering them uh, a free sample. They just cover shipping. So once they opt in and decide that they want the free sample, you'll ship it out to them. They just have to cover shipping. Then we get, uh, provide them with additional offers for uh, you know an upgrade. Hey, here's a sale. We'll give you four bottles for the price of you know one or an incredible savings where people go, you know what, yeah, I will. I'll take that upgrade. And then... Uh, they're able to, you know, make the sale, make the upgrade, and these types of profit or these types of products are insanely profitable as far as the upsell and the the overall cost of of creating supplements, creating going into the supplement business. Uh, the upsell is just tremendous on these from what I've from what I've read and seen. But uh, the, you can see it's really similar to the other ones. Um, all you are is just all you're doing is just really swapping out the the, the product there, uh, whether or not it's a like a supplement or some type of you know it could be any type of product there right but the main thing is that you have um, an opportunity for uh, once they've said their first yes for them to say yes again to you know upgrades ups uh, upsells uh, order bumps that type of stuff and when we see when you see how easy it is to put that stuff in place when we get into the funnel building uh, you're absolutely gonna love it here so so that is uh, a kind of an in-depth look at sales funnels there I hope you like that you should be like awesome I can't wait to put this in place I will see you in the next video